Hi folks, Big Daddy Rich here with the WBDR, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about baseball today. This is Rec League Baseball I'm going to be touching on. It's a, uh, it is a less competitive sport than travel baseball, but it is a competitive sport. And I feel like we've got a bad misconception out there as parents that we feel like, well, if we can just put them in Rec League, they'll get, they'll get, you know, they'll, they'll get good at baseball. Well, not necessarily. Okay. Not necessarily. There's a lot of people bringing your kid out there to play rec league that ain't got no business. Ain't got no business being out there on the baseball field. And you know who I'm talking about. Everybody watching this video right now already knows who I'm talking about. You got your little Timmy out there. Little Timmy, he's up to bat, okay? And he he when the ball comes coming across the plate there, he likes to spin around in circle and whip his head around. He's whipping that head. Whipping that head everywhere. You say, Little Timmy, watch the ball. And he says, Okay, and then the ball comes back through there, and he's whipping that head around. He's spinning around in freaking circles again. Same thing over and over again. You could take a beach ball and set it up on a tee and give him a tuba to swing at it, and he'd still freaking miss the ball. That's because little Timmy, deep down inside, deep down in his heart, he don't like baseball, and he ain't got no business even being out there. Ain't got no business being out there. If something happened and the stars aligned and God came in to intervene and actually made that bat somehow miraculously hit that ball, why he would go skipping down the third baseline, or he'd run out to the pitcher's mound, or he'd just walk to first base and get thrown out. He he don't got no business being out there. Pull little old Timmy out. Do us all a favor. Come on now. If you want little Timmy to be good at baseball, and you need to talk to little Timmy. Say, Timmy, do you like baseball? When he says no, say, okay, son, we'll find something else. That's what needs to happen there. Okay, then you got your little jimmies out there. It's the same situation. They can't catch. Can't catch. You throw them a ball out there, man, and, and they, they, it's like they got two feet trying to catch it. It just ain't happening. And, and, and when it comes rolling by them, they like to, they like to run beside it. They have to run, run along beside that ball. Okay, and then pick it up, and they're going to throw it. And when they throw it, it's liable to go anywhere, probably back out in the outfield. I'm telling you right now, poor little old Jimmy couldn't even catch COVID-19 if you threw it to him. Ain't got no business being out there. Ain't got no business being out there on the baseball field. And you know it. If he actually wants to play and he, he really does want to learn the sport, get, get him outside and play with him at home a little bit because coach has got maybe six hours a week focus on practice. It's a lot of times less than that. You've got him all the time, all the time. Work with him in the yard. He'll get a little bit better. And if he don't really like it, don't put him in it. And then last but not least, for sure not least, it's Big Johnny. Big Johnny. He's eight years old, 350 pounds. And now all of a sudden, we're going to bring him out there to be a five-star athlete in baseball. Been sitting in his sitting in his room, stuffing down Debbie cakes, playing video games. His freaking controllers glazed over, glazed over with all kind of little sweet goodies. You could lick it and it'd be sweet. I guarantee you. And then you bring him out there to the baseball field and expect the coach to all of a sudden, hey, yeah, he's all yours, buddy. Turn him into baseball player. <laughs> it ain't happening. It ain't freaking happening. This boy ain't even prepared for life right now, okay? What's going to happen? He gets out there in the yard and the freaking dog gets after him. You throw a baseball, you hit a baseball by him, it's 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. He takes his first step. What happens when a dog gets after him? Huh? He's dead. It's going to freaking eat him. He can't move. He can't move. Slim him up a little bit, man. Take your time to slim a boy up. I understand these kids that's got medical issues. Don't get me wrong. I, I understand we'll pray for you on that. But there's a lot of people out there saying they got medical issues when they let them sit there and stuff their face the most exercise they get when they leave their bedroom to go to the kitchen to get another little daddy. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, use your brain. Quit blaming coaches for the way your kids are playing. You got them all the time. You put forth your effort. Put forth thine effort into your children and see if you can't make them a better ball player. I can promise you the coach wants them to be good, but he can't work miracles, okay? He can't do it. I love y'all. 
God bless you. Thank you for watching WBDR. If you need me, I'll call you.